Hello everyone, I'm Sammy from Chiwa.net and today we're going to talk about Game Gem, an iOS game hacking app and as the name implies, this little app right here will allow you to hack your games by changing gems and money and other goodies in your iOS games. As always, you can find Game Gem at Cheatware.net. Just Google Cheatware, go to Cheatware.net, you'll find the Game Gem icon or the iOS section right there. Go to Game Gem and you'll find how to install this app on your device now as for using this device you will need game jam and you will need a game that you can hack and in that game you're gonna want to have a value or a number for example your money or gems or whatever that you can change using game jam now in this case this is kotor awesome game and our skill points are at 30 we're gonna have more skill points because yay lots of skill points lots of attributes and so on so you go into G game jam and essentially first you're gonna need to connect to your game app so you go at the upper right corner you press the icon and then you select your game process or application in this case it's kotor so you just go for your game and then you enter below that into the input search value box the value that you're looking to change so if your money is at 100 enter 100 and now in our case our skill points are at 30 so we're gonna enter 30 for data type go to auto unless you know what you're doing and you know the exact data type auto will scan for everything it takes a little bit longer but it'll work in most cases which is obviously quite awesome so we're scanning for our skill points and now the app has come up with like a few thousand values if we were to change them all at once the game would crash we would change our skill points but we would also crash the game so we're gonna have to go back into the game change the value and the genius thing about this app is now we can narrow down the selection of values that are found in the memory by entering the new value so you change the value in game you go back into game gem you enter the new value and you press the search icon again and now we are left with eight results now if you still have more than 10 or more than 12 i would recommend you repeat that process and narrow down the list over and over until you're left with under 10 values then you can go to the value list by tapping the values and changing them now you can go for whatever you can go for nine 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 or nine million or whatever uh, just enter a number you'll be limited with some value types some value types only allow you to go to up to two billion but usually if you go for like one million or ten million you will be able to change it there's nothing that you can do here uh, wrong here so just enter whatever you want to change your value to now, obviously, if you go too high, it, the game might not be as fun anymore if, if you want to make it just a little bit easier for yourself. Yeah, but you do you. You know, you to play the games that you want to play the way you want to play them, obviously. Now, as you can see, we have um, a lot of skill points now. It doesn't even show the number in its entirety, I think. So, there we go. That's how you hack... Uh, games using game jam now some of these values will automatically update some of them you might have to spend some money or some health or whatever in order to get the value updated in this case uh, we had to spend some skill points to update the value all right so game jam also allows you to apply speed hacks that means slow down the game speed it up that is helpful in other games uh, then you also have uh, some hacks that allow you to scan for values that you don't know the initial value So for example, if you have a health bar or something and you don't know what the number behind that health bar is in the memory uh, Fuzzy search will allow you to scan by increased values decreased values and so on So that means you scan and then you decrease the value take some damage and then you scan by decrease to narrow down the list So that's how that works game jam overall is an awesome app However, it only works on offline games. Now, that means those are games that don't need the internet in order to work. If your game doesn't work without, without internet, so if you put your app, uh, your game, I mean your, your phone rather, into flight mode, or you turn off your Wi-Fi, and you turn off your internet, you turn off your data, and it doesn't work, this particular game that you want to hack, then chances are Game Jam is not going to work for that game because those kinds of games use servers, that means computers that belong to the game developers to store your save game and your gems and money and so on. So Game Jam works for single player games and it might even get you banned in multiplayer games. So be very, very careful. Do some research before you use this app on an online game. For some online games it works, for most it does not. 
All right, that is Game Jam. It is highly, highly recommended. You can find the instructions on how to install this at the link in the description at cheatway.net. And if you are looking for other kinds of hacks for iOS games or other kinds of apps that allow you to hack iOS games, I always recommend HackerBot.net. You can find HackerBot.net by just Googling HackerBot, go to main page, go to find cheats, and there you will find a custom search engine that will allow you to only search legitimate cheating websites for mods, hacks, whatever you're looking for to cheat in your iOS games. So for example, if I go for Clash of Clans, iOS, uh, iOS mod, I would be able to find legitimate mods for Clash of Clans on iOS. Now, if you're using Google to do the same kind of thing, um, searching for mods or hacks for your iOS games, most of the time, the things that you will find will be scams, survey scams, spam, fakes, what do you have? whatever you have uh, these days. This is not going to work. In the end, it's going to be scammy. You're going to have to fill in human verification, as they call it, and you'll get nothing. Now, using HackerBot.net Find or Free Finder, will allow you to only search legitimate cheating websites and forums that only allow legitimate cheats and uploads on their websites, which is obviously a lot better than fakes. Anyways, guys, thanks you guys for watching. As always, you can find the links to everything that I've mentioned here in the description of this video. You can find Game Jam and HackerPod.net and everything else. Thanks you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.